right, Peters Synthetics, that's right, we're back again with yet another video. I know you guys have been riveted waiting on this one. So now we got our 2006 Chevrolet Silverado. And we're here, we're going to change out the fluid. That's right, we're going to go to Anzoil 100% synthetic. Get this thing out of the way. 100% synthetic, automatic transmission fluid, it's fuel efficient. This is one, this is what it calls for, uh, for my vehicle, 2006 Chevrolet Silverado. 1500 automatic, I believe it's the 4L60E or the 4L60. We've got a transmission filter, we got that from Amsoil. And we've got a gasket, AC Delco gasket for the bottom. Now I think Amsoil in some models provides the gasket. Uh, but in this case I opted for the AC Delco version just because I wanted to be uh, just kind of overly double ready to go. Just in case this one doesn't work or if I choose to use this, I'll probably use the AC Delco because that's just how I got it from my local parts house. Uh, Amsoil. Now, one of the cool things about this is, is you can actually at least double your uh, manufacturer's fluid recommendation drain interval. So without further ado, here we go. We're going to be doing our transmission fluid. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm kind of in a bad uh, angle here. I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> All right, so we're underneath the uh, Chevrolet Silverado, and we're right here. I don't know if you can see the transmission pan, but there is about a thousand videos online of folks that uh, that show you how to change out a transmission. Uh, so I'm not going to go through like an explanation because I'm not a mechanic either, and I don't I don't claim to know everything. Uh, so we'll go from there. Okay. All right. at this point that we realized that the batteries in our camera had died. We replaced the gasket, the filter, and cleaned the entire pan up. And then we retorqued the bolts, we buttoned everything back up, and here we go to the flush. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you can see my finger. That was the bottom of the pan. And get her straightened up, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and torque the bolts. Right in the middle of us taking all that down, our battery died, so in the camera, so uh, we had to scramble around, and uh, while uh, my lovely assistant was trying to do that, we actually got the pan off, we cleaned it up, and got, all, got everything squared away. I'll uh, put the new filter in there, and uh, I'll show you a link in the description to what a filter, transmission filter is, the, the, you know, the model number for this truck. It'll be all in the description. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add about uh, four quarts, and... <clears throat> And then we're going to uh, run a flush, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Ready? All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take this uh, this out right here. This is the only way we can get the transmission fluid in there, so we've got to have a good uh, funnel. So we're going to go ahead and take this bad boy out. I have a hard time kind of getting that in there, but uh, we've got a pretty good idea what we need to do. So we're probably just going to pump the, the uh, fluid in there because we've got a pretty big uh, two and a half gallon size. Uh, container. So here we go. We're gonna easy, easy to peel off right there. So we need to go to about right there somewhere. Pretty good. We're, we're going to watch it because we're going to be flushing this thing. So. So we gotta get to this line right here. Let me take a look. Look how far down we are. Look at that. Pure cherry red synthetic, baby. That's right. Whoa! Oh man! That's 
stuff came out. Wow. Uh, yeah, that stuff would fly. We've got ATF fluid like flying everywhere. I'm going to call that uh, a gallon. Four quarts. Action. All right, I learned this from a, a guy on YouTube. His name is uh, Don Smith. He's also an Amsoil dealer. I have a link to his channel in there. He showed me this. And so what we did is right down here, this is your transmission cooler line, okay? Three-eighths poly tubing, and we're going to stick it right in here. There's an O-ring in there. And when we put it in there, it's going to lock in, and we're going to be able to uh, stick this right here, and this is the uh, transmission cooler. So down at the very bottom, down there is where the uh, warm transmission or hot transmission fluid goes into the transmission cooler, and then it goes through everything in the cooler, and then it comes out here. So we're intercepting the warm transmission fluid. Okay, all right, I felt that pop in. Give it a little tug. Yep, it's in there. All right, and this 3 8 poly tubing is right in there. So when we start the vehicle, we're going to be able to get the old uh, stuff out. So here we go. Action. All right, we've got our 3 8 poly tubing. I've got the other end stuck, in, stuck into the uh, transmission cooler and return line. So here we go. All right, I'm going to put this in there. Go ahead and start her up. Look down here. Look straight down here. Look at all that. This is from the uh, torque converter, I believe. That's just pure brown. This is not the fluid that we just put in there. This is pure brown stuff. So we want to start seeing red. When we start seeing red, really good. Alright, we're seeing bubbles, Doug. Shut it off. Poured out <clears throat> almost all the ATF fluid. We cleaned this out before we dumped anything in there. Now, see if I can grab some. This is ATF fluid barely, I think barely five, six, seven thousand miles. I mean, things from inside the transmission. I wish I could just grab them, but I really can't. Can't see it right there. Metal shaving. Alright, well. There's all that. So we're going to drain some more out, all right? We've got to go ahead and add some more ATF fluid. We're going to see if we can get down to the, uh, uh, the one gallon mark and see if we can see some red, okay, in the drain. All right, here we go. We're going to start her up again, see if we can get some red. Go. Yeah, we're starting to see some red. Let's get a little bit more. See how this is aerated? That's mostly the OEM fluid. Of course, it's also being churned. All right, so now we have uh, finished that and uh, we started seeing some bubbles. That means the, the bottom of the pan was, was empty. Uh, so we need to go ahead and add the rest of what we have and we should be good to go. We're going to check the transmission fluid here momentarily. All right, so we're adding some more now and uh, we're going to go ahead and check the uh, transmission fluid after we add these. Look at this. Beautiful. This is low viscosity ATF AMSOIL. Man, this stuff is the best. You know, this made our spark uh, go from hard shifting to buttery smooth shifts. Now, not every spark can use this, so you got to check with the dealer. So don't sit there and say, oh, "You told me to put this in there," you know. <laughs> All right, there we go. All the money. Look at that cherry go in there, man. I want all the money. <laughs> yes, sir. All right up this uh, another video in uh, doing our transmission flush uh, we flushed out about uh, six or seven quarts and so we added back 
about uh, six quarts, and we added back, I think, about a quarter to a uh, three quarts of a half quart, I guess, whatever that is. And it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, so we've used the uh, Amsoil ATF, and as you saw in the earlier scene, uh, we took it around, and you see that this uh, this particular vehicle really, really shifts buttery smooth now. It was shifting rough before, and now we've got her dialed in. So she's all set up. So everybody here at Peter Synthetics, I'm your host, Brian. Um, hope you guys uh, can like, subscribe, leave us a comment. We really appreciate everybody's, uh, you know, attention. That pays the bills. So I uh, really appreciate everybody helping us out. And, you know, if anybody has any comments, suggestions, or anything, because I'm not a mechanic and I don't know everything uh, about this stuff. I'm kind of like a computer guy trying to get into oil. It's kind of like backwards, like guys, you know, I don't know. So anyway, so without further ado, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next one here on Peter Synthetics. And again, we go deep. <laughs>